Hello friends, welcome back to History and Mythology Explained. Before going into this video, I have a great news to share. Our channel has just reached 1000 subscribers. Yeah, 1k subscribers. It's a huge achievement for me and we have grown this much in just 6 months. It's a fast growth and it shows that many people are enjoying my videos. Thank you so much guys. Your support is what got our channel to this stage. Keep supporting. Our channel currently has 2800 watch hours. Our channel's next aim is to get 4000 watch hours and 10k subscribers soon. So share my videos with your friends and family who might be interested in the topic. Also, if you are new to our channel, I suggest you to check out our channel's playlists. We have plenty of videos under many topics of interest like, Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology, gods and goddesses, kings, generals and emperors, wars and battles and many others. Once again, thank you all for subscribing to this channel and supporting me. I will continue to make quality content that will interest you. Ok now, let's get into today's video. The Emerald Tablet is also known as the Smaragdon Tablet or the Tabula Smaragdina. It is a compact and cryptic hermetic text. The hermetic texts are texts which are attributed to the legendary Hellenistic figure Hermes Trismegistus, a syncretic combination of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth. The Emerald Tablet of Thoth is considered to be one of the most antique and mystic works of wisdom. It was highly regarded by Islamic and European alchemists as the foundation of their art. It is believed to have been written by Thoth, the Egyptian god of wisdom, the divine mediator and counselor, the inventor of writing and the ruler of several Atlantean colonies. Now hold on, wait a minute. Thoth was the inventor of writing? He's an Egyptian god but how did he rule several Atlantean colonies and has the nickname, the Atlantean? Before getting to know about this mysterious emerald tablet, let's fully understand who Thoth is. Have you ever wondered who created hieroglyphics, the complex writing system composed of symbols that the ancient Egyptians used? According to Egyptian religious tradition, it was Thoth who created it. He was the god of writing and knowledge. He was also considered to have been the scribe of the underworld. For this reason, Thoth was universally worshipped by ancient Egyptian scribes. Many scribes had a painting or a picture of Thoth in their office. In art, he was often depicted as a man with the head of an ibis or a baboon, the animals which were sacred to him. He was the god of the moon, wisdom, writing, hieroglyphs, science, magic, art, and judgment. His Greek equivalent is Hermes. His wife was the goddess Mott. The 365-day calendar was created by Thoth according to the Egyptian mythology and he gave Isis the words to restore her husband Osiris, allowing the pair to conceive Horus. The emerald tablets are attributed to Hermes Trismegistus, the syncretic combination of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth. In the Emerald Tablets, he describes that he was an Atlantean priest king who founded a colony in ancient Egypt. It is said that before he left Egypt, he gathered the records of the mysterious Atlantis and also recorded his extensive knowledge and wisdom. He placed all the documents in the Great Pyramid of Giza that he erected on the entrance to the halls of Amenti. The texts begin with, I, Thoth, the Atlantean, give of my wisdom, give of my knowledge, give of my power. The text of the Emerald Tablet first appears in a number of early medieval Arabic sources, the oldest of which dates to the late 8th or early 9th century. It was translated into Latin several times in the 12th and 13th centuries. Numerous interpretations and commentaries followed, though the original tablets have never been found. The Emerald Tablets are very hard to date with any precision like most other works attributed to Hermes Trismegistus but generally belongs to the late antique period. The Secret of Creation and the Art of Nature, 
an encyclopedic work on natural philosophy has the oldest known source of the text. Based on the older Greek or Syriac sources, this book was compiled in Arabic in the late 8th or early 9th century. It tells us the story of Sir Al-Khalika on how he discovered the text. He found the text in a vault below a statue of Hermes in Tyana, and that, inside the vault, an old corpse on a golden throne held the emerald tablet. Yeah, kinda like how Ezio found a piece of Eden which was held by Altair's corpse on a chair in the video game, Assassin's Creed Revelations. The emerald texts focus on teaching secrets about the world and teach alchemy, or how to transform substances into other, usually more valuable, substances. One of these alchemical teachings was how to make a philosopher's stone, a legendary stone that could transform base materials into gold and grant immortality. It talks about the philosophy of one God, the concept of soul, the reality behind all creation, the unity and interconnectedness of everything in the universe, the relation between life on earth and the life above, and much more information and wisdom that can open the eyes of a passionate seeker to the divine truth. The descriptions available of the Emerald Tablet of Thoth show it as comprising of 12 tablets made from an emerald green substance that was created by way of alchemical transmutation. The tablets are said to be engraved with characters of the Phoenician language. These characters are believed to communicate with the reader through a tuned mental wavelength, unveiling profound wisdom, promoting inner awakening and developing a keen perception of the laws that regulate all life and creation. It is true that this tablet has a special kind of communication with the reader. One could feel like that Thoth is actually communicating with him. The tablets discuss a multitude of concepts, ranging from nature to the cosmos, the divine and astrology. They are also supposed to contain a number of hidden magical secrets and treaties related to alchemy. In fact, the medieval alchemists regarded these enlightening texts as the very basis of their science and art. The tablets also teaches us on how to become immortal and live a longer life. It also explains the technique of getting out of this mortal world by will, like the sages, rishis and siddhars of ancient India and Tamilagam. Various rishis are said to reach moksha by doing a type of meditation that will get them out of this mortal world and reach the one true God or attaining the eternal bliss. It is possible that Thoth also had this lost knowledge of the rishis and wrote it in the tablets since he was the god of knowledge and knew about the secrets of Atlantis. Thoth is thought to have passed on his soul into other bodies and been reincarnated thrice. That's why he is called the Thrice Born. It was in his last rebirth as a Greek sage, Hermes Trismegistus or Hermes, the thrice greatest that he is said to have translated the Emerald Tablet. This was to reveal the biggest divine truths to mankind and give people an insight into the connection between the material and the spiritual. Many times he tells the readers not to give the knowledge that he has provided, to those who are not worthy of it. The texts call the reader to look within themselves to find the secrets of the world, saying, Desireth thou to know the deep, hidden secret? Look in thy heart where the knowledge is bound. Know that in thee the secret is hidden, the source of all life and the source of all death. I've read some parts of the tablets which is easily available in the internet for free. I'll provide a link in the description which will lead you to a YouTube video that has the whole tablets in the form of audiobook in English. Click the link in description if you also want to read the tablets. Keep in mind that you should read it only for educational purposes. I don't encourage you to practice or do anything that is written in the tablets. Though we don't have any proof about the source or author of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the scripture is highly revered and considered by intellectuals to be one of the most significant and profoundly meaningful documents that modern civilization has been blessed with. Though there are some people who have not read it just because we don't have enough information about it, there are also many people who are truly eager to understand it and devote themselves to its intense study are sure to find that it opens up unbelievable avenues of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. 
It is said that a person should read the tablets for more than one time to fully understand it and to those who fully understand everything that was written in the tablets, I'm sure they must have gained some knowledge which are still unknown to many people around the world. What other historical and mythological topics you want me to make a video on? Comment down your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video. Share it to your friends and family who might be interested in this topic. Subscribe to this channel and tap the bell icon so you won't miss any of my new videos. I'll see you again with a new video and a new topic to explain. Thanks for watching.